You may have heard the word variables being thrown around in programming, but what does it mean? Variables are like many storage locations for data, whether that be numbers, words, or even sentences. There's more to them than this simple explanation, so why don't we dig a little bit deeper? Hi, I'm Victor, and today on Height Above Sea Level, we'll be looking at variables in C Sharp. Before we get started, if you want to talk more about this kind of thing, be sure to follow me on Twitch at Height Above Sea Level, where I do some live coding sessions as well as try and answer some of your questions as best I can. Here we are in Visual Studio, and we'll be working with a console application that I made in one of my other videos called Visual Studio for Beginners. So if you're not sure how to get set up with Visual Studio 2022 or any other version that you're using, be sure to check that out where we created my first app and we did some, we wrote something on the console, just something simple. But if you're not sure how to get set up, that video should help you out. All right, variables. Like I said before, variables are like many storage locations for data like strings, numbers, and what have you. So why don't we go ahead and create our first variable? We can say, int number is equals to four then put a semicolon like that to end the statement now integer is one form of number in c sharp we have other forms like a float a byte a short a long but for this demo we'll be using an integer and an int is just a representation of an integer which is a whole number without fractions or decimal. If I wanted to use a decimal, I'd have to use a different type. Look, if you put 4.6, you get an error. To do that, you'll need a different type and that'll be a float right here. But for today, we're using an integer. And what we're saying is this number that we've, this word number, every time we use it, it's equals to four. And I can show you that on the console if you say, console dot right line that grayed out text is called IntelliCode if I press tab tab it writes the line for me but you can also do CW press tab and then tab again that's just one of the code snippets that's available in Visual Studio and then inside the arguments to write line this is a method that writes something writes a line like the name suggests just on the console so if I pass this number as an argument and then run the application with control plus F5. Here's the number shown on the console. As you noticed, I didn't have to use four. I just needed, needed to use number. Every time you use this variable number, it's going to be equal to four. And your variable names should be unique. So if I try and duplicate this with control plus D, you see that I get an error because every variable should be unique. Now you may have noticed that my colors are a little different from yours and that's because I'm using a custom theme called the Sakura theme that I made myself and if this is something that you like and you'd like to have as well then it is available for patrons over on Patreon and I will link that in the description below. But back to variables, let's try and create another variable. We can say int second number is equals to that's IntelliCode they're telling me or suggesting for me if you press tab it writes that for me so let's assume five is our second number something you may have noticed is that this begins with a lowercase letter but number the second begins with a lowercase letter but number begins with up with an uppercase letter so why is that it's a convention called camel case notation and i've covered this in another video of mine called programming naming conventions every programmer should know about and you can check that out it will bring you up to speed but a little bit of a rundown is that camel case notation is the first word the first letter of the first word is lowercase and the first letter of every word after that is uppercase so if i had to do something like int second number large equals 100 as you can see every word after I can put my semicolon. Every word after second starts with an uppercase. That's camel case notation. The other notation is called Pascal case, where every word is capitalized. And this is normally used for things like classes, but that's beyond the scope of what we're talking about right now. I just wanted to give you a mention of that just in case you see it in other types of 
programming languages or tutorials but back to the variables that we started out with these are like storage locations so think of the memory where these variables are stored like one big warehouse every time you declare a variable like this that's like saying i now have an item that i'm going to put into the warehouse so in programming this is now stored in memory this is now stored in memory and once you stop using it let's say you delete it and gets removed from the memory which is the equivalent of saying that you took an item out of the storage or out of the inventory but one thing to note though is that in c-sharp the type of the variable determines where it's stored in memory so there are two types that we're going to look at value types and reference types we won't look too much into them but i want to mention them in case i mention them again in other videos up ahead you'll know what i'm talking about which i do plan so if you want to see those please subscribe and you'll get a notification but value types like numbers are stored in a place called the stack reference types like strings are stored in the heap so let's look at a string first before we can talk more about it so this is how you just declare a string and strings are how you store things like words and phrases so that's the string i can say first name is equal to double quotes is how you is how you declare a string so anything any value you put inside here will be the string so i can say first name elon musk and i can elon and i can say last name equals musk and a semicolon at the end and just like before i can do cw and say first name and then duplicate with control plus d and say last name then run the application and see elon musk and this four is number i can delete this for now so that's how you declare a string in c sharp and these are reference types they're stored in a place called the heap now there's another way you can declare a variable and this is using the var keyword so if i say var location and then double quotes Texas. this works as well but the biggest difference here is that i'm telling the compiler by using this var keyword i'm telling the compiler hey you figure out what this value type is i'm just going to write it it's your job to figure it out and when you know what it is you can tell me so since i've written this in double quotes the compiler is going to look at it and say oh that kind of looks like a string and so this location variable that we've declared is going to be equal to a string and how do i know this you can hover over the var keyword and you'll see this little text box saying class system of type string string is a class that's available in the system namespace and a namespace is just a place where you store many classes a class is where you store related code you can see we're working with a program class right here but a string is written like this and if you use var when it sees a double quotes it'll be like hey it kind of looks like a string and if you want to confirm hover over string as well and it'll say system the string you see is the same i can even do this with a number like not sire but score is equal to 34 and if i hover over var again this system int 32 an integer and if i go over number here it's the same thing integer and even if you write them on the console look cw tab then i say score here it is 34 same thing with the uh, location that's control plus f5 texas so this is just another way to make your code a little bit cleaner because imagine if you had to write something like this You'll have string, 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 and it looks a bit unclean and untidy. So if you use var, it's a bit cleaner, a bit more readable, and a bit less redundant. So var, you can also think of it just means variable. Var for the score, var for the string that's location, and it works just as normal as these other ones. But before I go, I want to show you 
something else that you can use variables in operations. So I can say var total is equals to number plus second number large. I just press tab there, tab again. So number is equals to four and second number large is equals to 199. So what do you think the total will be? Why don't we find out? CW tab. And this time I don't pass anything here. And this will just write an empty line, which will separate what you've written here and what I'm about to write down here. CW tab total control in F5 203, which is basically 199 plus four. Maybe I can make this something simple like one. So number and second number, second number large for run the application gives me five right here. And this is the empty line that I wrote over here. I should probably close these extra consoles. Yes, and that's it for variables. I hope you found this interesting. Have you worked with variables in another language or is this your first time learning about variables? And did you learn something new today? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch at height above sea level if you want to talk more about this kind of thing live on stream. And if that doesn't work, come hang out on Discord instead. Just click the link in the description below and become a member of the Water Tribe today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, from me to you, deuces.